wanted to get Hey everyone, I'm here in my uh, my in-laws property here and uh, as you can see here on their land they have they have tons of weeds here they have dandelions, wild violets, wild mushroom, wild garlic, clover all over their property here. I'm not sure if you can see this is all clover and so a lot of people watch, maybe watch my videos and say, huh, your, law, your yard is nice because you've been maintaining it. Well, here I'm in a property that hasn't been maintained, all kind of weeds, and this may be something that you're dealing with too. And so I'm gonna try to help you guys from start to finish, at least one step to try to get it, manage it, try to get it under control. Um, so just walking around, every time I, go into a lawn, I take a look at the property, I see what I'm dealing with to get a, a game plan. So I'm, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna bag it. Once I do that, I'm probably gonna thatch it. Now, if you're the thatching here, I'm in the central Pennsylvania region right now, and we're still in our growing season. So it, it's okay to leaf thatch. If you're in the heat of the summer, you don't wanna thatch your lawn, just because it's not growing much because there's not much water going on and unless you have an irrigation system. There's no irrigation system here. So we're, we're gonna do thatch and then I'm going to apply some products on and hopefully control the weeds. And I hope this, this helps somebody. So I just got done cutting the lawn. Just checked the forecast and they're calling for a 100% chance of a rainstorm coming through. So I'm gonna call it quits again for day one. I'm gonna come back out tomorrow. We're gonna uh, detach, bag it, put some product down. So uh, see you guys tomorrow. So I'm back, day two. As you can see, the sun is out, it's shiny. We're gonna finish up this property here. I got my works the thatcher over here. Just to recap, I was out here yesterday. Mow the lawn. You can see the lawn looks pretty nice just mowing it. But we're gonna finish it off. Now this thatch, once I finish the thatching, I'm gonna put some product down. Um, when we get to that point, I'll show you what products I'm using. And then uh, I'll wrap it up. But let's get started. Let's start working. Just wanted to stop and made a couple pass here with my thatcher and you can just see all the thatch there is coming up from the bottom so it's essential that you pick up all this so here's a line that i did and then here's an area so you need to get up all this matter if you can see just pulling it up with my hand and the importance of picking that up is you want to get all that out it allows your soil to breathe it allows the grass to breathe so better nutrients can hit the soil and when you put product down that stuff just blocks it from hitting the roots so it's, it's very important that you pick that up so i got half of it that and i'm popping up this tree so i, I mentioned before this is my father-in-law this is his land and so with his permission, we're gonna run a little test here. So we're gonna detach half of his property. You can see the detachers that is back there. And the other half, we're gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna bag it, cause I cut it yesterday. So I'm gonna bag everything up. Just get all that stuff out. And then I'm gonna spray product. And then I'll update you guys and 
how this side of the property looks once it's attached compared to the one that is not to see if there's really a huge difference um so i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm gonna get my rope my mower i'm gonna pick it up and then we'll go from there So the last thing we have to do here is that we want to control the weeds and put some sort of fertilizer just to give it a pop. So since there's clover, there's dandelions, there's wild onions, wild mushrooms, I'm going to put Triad Select. Triad Select has three herbicides in it to control uh, those weeds that I, that I mentioned. You want to put one and a half ounces per 1,000 square feet. So remember I told you it's important to know your square footage. So the square footage here is 3,000 square feet, the property here. And the way I did that, I went to uh, Google Earth, looked up the property, plotted it, gave me 3,000 square feet, give or take. So that's what we're gonna use here. So we're gonna add a one and a half ounces per thousand. There are 3,000. So we're gonna add four and a half ounces. Two ounces there. Another two ounces. And then we're gonna do a half ounce. On top of that, we're gonna put this natural aggregate bench on it just to get the most out of our product here. OEYS is what I'm putting it there. And uh, I got the, the Amazon guy here. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Have a good one, man. God bless you. So we're going to put this natural aggregate on to get the most of out of it. But in order to make sure that it's the most effective, you have to make sure the pH is between 4.5 to 5.5. So you want to grab the pH meter here. I got this Hannah pH meter. I'm just going to put it in the water. And we are at 6.3. So we got to lower the pH. So in order to lower the pH, you have to add the citric acid. Now you don't want to add too much. It's going to lower real quick. So you just want to add a little citric acid to it. And I'm sorry for the traffic. My, my in-laws live on a busy uh, roadway here. You want to mix it up. Let's test the pH. We were at 6.3 before, and now we're at 4.5. We're perfect in front of pH. So, I also mentioned that I want to put some sort of fertilizer here. So I'm going to try this sanctuary out on the product, on my in-laws lawn here. Half of it is the thatched. The other half, the other half we left the same. Um, I'll show you the color difference here. Once I'm squirting, you'll be able to see it. Uh, Sanctuary again, the Lawn Whisperer, big shout outs to him, this is his product. Uh, just trying to give it, try it on different places, see how it really works. I went on their website, found some great research, I'm really interested to, to see how this does on, on different lawns here. So we're going to put, as I mentioned, you just put one of these, I think this is a, a teaspoon, I could be wrong, but it's one of these teaspoons every 1,000 square feet. So since there's 3,000, we're going to put three of them. And this is a water soluble fertilizer. One, two, three. And this shouldn't change the pH in your water. Um, I'll double check it just to make sure, but it says you really shouldn't. 
again this has the NPK 11 21 21 it has nitrogen potassium phosphate iron so it has a whole bunch of probiotics in it so it's supposed to be really good for your lawn so it's not supposed to be from what I gather it's not supposed to replace your fertilizer it's supposed to be in conjunction to so this is just something it's almost like a booster I would say it's kind of how I've read it so again Mix it. Let's check that pH again. Actually lowered it just a little so it's at 4.3 so I lowered it 0.2 so now that I know that's good now I'm gonna add the natural aggregate so it's a half an ounce it's 0.5 yeah half an ounce per 1,000 so 3,000 an ounce and a half stuff away let's get it mixed and the reason I have this pump sprayer if you take the battery out of your drill ready to rock and roll let's start spring let's get that trophy yard let's get that trophy lawn Well, that wraps it up for today. I hope what I showed you helped you guys, gave you some tips. We'll be back. If you're interested in what, how the lawn turns out, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'm on all of it. Like I said before, tell your mom, tell your brother, tell your cousin, Lawn D&D is here. Follow me. I'll be posting an update on how this stuff is doing. As mentioned before, this part over here, where the thatch did, this one, we just kind of left it alone on this side. And this is our indicator here, this tree. So we'll see how these products do. Half of it just normal without being the thatch. The other part, the thatch. The triad select. The sanctuary. We're calling for rain tomorrow. Hopefully by Friday. Today is Tuesday, Friday. Hopefully we get some results. And I'll have an update for you guys. Don't forget to clean your pump spray out for the next time. See you guys, take care.